Hello everyone, Stephen Clark here and friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are. Back with another news from all over Thailand and Southeast Asia. So what have we got today? A French backpacker is dragged into a car in Cambodia. Not nice. Paddy Police Chief passes away after sudden heart attack. Aiden Foreign Company received licenses to operate in Thailand. Sexy schoolgirls told to stop live streaming on Facebook or else. Yala judge shooting in Thailand. But first up, the pretties shooting in Thailand. Two young girls in Bangkok, their car is shot at. Hi there, Mark reporting for Talkback Thailand. A senior military man presented himself at Bangkok police station yesterday to deny shooting two Bangkok pretties in their car. He claims he sold the gun used in the attack to a friend a long time ago. The development followed a story that he has been charged with attempted murder, fired seven shots at them, two Bangkok pretties in their car. They provided police with a bullet that was lodged into the Toyota Yaris car. There were suggestions that they had been targeted in a road rage incident after using a high beam Something the driver denied, saying they were victims of a misunderstanding. Yesterday, a military judge advocate took Sergeant Marge, first class Nathi. He has been charged with attempted murder, having a weapon in the city, firing in the city, and having an illegal weapon. He denied everything, saying he sold the gun used in the attack to a friend a long time ago. But CCT evidence showed the man in black at the Kao Tone restaurant near the scene of the attack getting into a black pickup at 3.13 a.m. in the morning of the attack. There have been claims made elsewhere on the Thai media and on Facebook page of Mansoui that the army man would try to use influence to escape responsibility. A horrifying moment, a French backpacker is dragged into a car before being raped by three men in Cambodia as she walked back to a hotel late at night. The 43-year-old French woman was walking home in the early hours last Friday morning in Kampot, a city in the south. Three local Cambodians pulled up beside the woman and asked her if she wanted to lift it back to her hotel. Then they allegedly pulled the woman into the car. The French woman told police she had been drinking and doesn't remember the incident clearly, but had given enough details to trace the men. CCTV from the city, which is popular amongst backpackers and travellers, shows a woman wearing a short black dress and a backpack while walking home after leaving the Golden Time restaurant in the city of Kompot. Padia City Police Chief passes away from sudden heart attack. Police Chief Colonel Atinan Nuchanat has died from a heart attack Friday morning. 59-year-old Colonel Atinan Nuchanat was the Pattaya City Police Acting Chief. New in the position, yesterday morning he and his team were heading to Bangkok from Chambri, the Pattaya area, for a meeting when he started complaining of chest pains before falling unconscious in the car. The chief was rushed to the Chambri hospital by other officers in the vehicle. He was pronounced dead by doctors at 2 p.m. and condolences to his family and friends. Johnny so I am reporting. Thailand open for business. 18 foreign companies receive licenses to operate in Thailand. The Thai Department of Business and Development granted licenses to the companies from Japan, Singapore and Hong Kong, employing 428 Thais and a capital investment of over 470 million. Since January 2019, 155 foreign companies have had licenses granted. So looks like Thailand's on the up and up. Johnny out. Hi there, Mark reporting for Talk About Thailand. Police warn teens about going live on Facebook and behaving obscenely and when you could face jail. Teens going live on Facebook to dance and behave provocatively have been warned their actions could land them in jail. There have been several cases recently and yesterday another came to light of a girl gyrating in a school uniform. Police spokesman Chrisana said that the latest case could fall into 14 acts of criminal code relating to obscene acts committed on the internet. He said the fact that the girl was in school uniform made it worse. Teens should be aware that their behaviour is not appropriate and there would be prosecutions. He said 
we are currently investigating several cases. Don't do it, we will get you, was his warning. The law allows for a five year prison term and a fine of up to 100,000 baht for those convicted of obscenity. G'day sports fans. Today we're going to the uh, deep south of Thailand, to the provinces of Yala, Patani and Naritawat. These are the uh, areas in the, in the south of Thailand that are troubled with um, Islamic uh, fundamentalists, uh, separatists and uh, terrorists. Well, police had recently apprehended five suspects of um, related murder and firearms offences in the district and brought them to justice in the court system in Yala Provincial Court. The judge uh, presiding over the case, he uh, acquitted the five suspects. They found them not guilty due to insufficient evidence. He then proceeded to go on Facebook Live and um, made a statement denouncing uh, interference in the court system of uh, senior judges under the under the first court judges in their decisions and and penalties imposed and then proceeded to pull out a handgun and uh, shoot himself in the chest he left behind a 25 page memo exposing the senior court judges of trying to force him to change verdicts to guilty when they were not um, founded in evidence The judge, Judge Cunicorn, is now recovering in hospital and a court spokesman has said the incident was due to personal stress. Well, we wish the judge good luck in his um, future endeavours in the, in the court system and bringing offenders to justice.